Welcome back students. As I told in the previous tutorial, I am going to explain about the theoretical sums of increment and decrement. Let us have these five sums. If x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1 initially for all the sums. So the first sum z is equal to plus plus x minus x plus 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 x. So here let us write z is equal to. You can see here pre increment. Pre increment means the value of x going to be incremented and then it is going to be stored. So that means here x is equal to 2 and then pre increment becomes 3. So the 3 value is substituted here. 3 minus then x plus plus. So when we substitute the value, the value which is stored at last is going to be there in the computer's memory but not from the sum which is given. So already the value of x is 3. Here we can see post increment. Post increment means after evaluating the expression, isn't it? So, 3 is going to be substituted there and then it is going to be increment for next time. So, it becomes 4 and then it is stored in the memory of x. Now, you can see here plus plus x which is pre-increment. Already the x value is 4. Pre-increment means it becomes 5. The value of 5 is substituted here. So now you can see 3 minus 3 plus 5 which becomes 0 plus 5 is 5. It is always better for us to check the value by substituting this formula in the program and then check the result. Let us do that. Okay. So let us write a small program like this and then have the expression here. So the same expression I have copied from the sum where x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. So let us compare this. No simply let us run this. You can see z value is 5. Let us have the second sum z is equal to y plus plus minus y plus 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 x minus plus plus y. So here z is equal to see here y plus plus this is post increment. So the value y is first substituted. So that is 1 is going to be substituted there. Then after that for the next time it is going to increment and store in the position. So it is becoming 2 after increment. It will be only in the memory not substituted before. Here now at last y's value is 2. So 2 here we are not going to increment or decrement. So as it is it is going to substitute the value plus 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 x. So the x value is already 2. Here it is pre increment. Pre increment means it increases the value by 1. So it becomes 3. So 3 is going to be substituted and then minus plus plus y. So y's value at last we calculated here is 2. As it is pre-incremented, it is going to increase the value of y and then get substituted. So it becomes 2 plus 1 equal to 3. 3 is substituted here. So let us calculate this value. 3 minus 3 becomes 0. And then 1 minus 2 becomes minus 1. So minus 1 will be the value. Otherwise we can calculate adding these positive numbers and then negative numbers. So the both the positive number becomes 4 and the both the negative number becomes minus 5. So 4 minus 5 is minus 1 is the answer. Let us run this through a program. So let me paste that sum here. And then z value going to be printed. So it is z, it is correct. 
compare this. So it is minus 1. Let us have the third sum z is equal to y plus plus into plus plus x. So here z is equal to y plus plus. The y value is 1. So it will substitute and then it is going to increment for next time. So y is equal to 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. But this 2 we do not need to care because no more y is available in this sum. So now the x value is going to be pre-incremented. It is going to be 3 now. 3. So 1 into 3 is 3. So let us see this also through a program. Let me paste the sum here. So z's value only we are going to calculate. Compile this. Run this. We are getting as 3. Let us have the fourth sum x into equal to minus minus x plus 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 x. So let me tell the special meaning of this. In case of x plus equal to y, what the special meaning here means? x equal to x plus y. So that means like this x is equal to x plus y. So I have put this in the bracket because whatever the expression available right side to the equal to sign we are going to calculate first and then the pre value of x is to be added or multiplied or divided or subtracted as given here. In case it is x minus equal to y then it is x is equal to x minus y. Same like that x into equal to y is x equal to x into y x divided by equal to y is x equal to x divided by y. These are the special meaning when the expression is like this. So let us rewrite this x is equal to x into see that all these which is right side I have put it in a bracket. First we evaluate the value and then the value is multiplied by the value of x which is in the sum. So let us substitute the value of x here first. So that is 2, right? So 2 is being substituted and here it is pre-decrement. Pre-decrement means decrease the value then store it. Minus minus x it becomes 2 minus 1 becomes 1 plus 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 x. The value of x is 1 here at last. So plus plus is pre so again we are adding this plus 1 is become 2 so we are substituting the value 2 so here 1 plus 2 we are evaluating first it becomes 3 and then multiplied by 2 becomes 6 let us run this through a program let me paste to this here we are going to find the value of x, right? So here it is x. Value of x is going to be displayed. Compile this. Right click. So we get the answer as 6. Let us have the last sum that is y minus equal to x plus y. Minus 3. Here minus 3 is a constant. So we can write as it is. So rewrite this as per the special indication. y is equal to y minus x plus y minus 3. So the y's value is 1. No increment or no decrement. We write as it is. y's value is 1 minus the x value also. No increment or decrement. Value is 2. So 2 we substitute that 2 plus y's value again remains the same it is 1 minus 3 as it is minus 3. So evaluate this 2 plus 1 is 3 minus 3 is 0. So 1 minus 0 it is going to be 1. So 
So let us confirm the output. We paste here. So here y's value. So let us change this as y. Okay, y. Compile this. No syntax error. So y is equal to 1 as we have evaluated the value. Students, I hope you learned how to solve the problems when it is given theoretically. And also you can check using a Java program which is kept ready madely and then just copy and paste the formula, run it, you will get the answer to check. Thank you students. Keep watching my videos and then if you subscribe, it will be better for you to watch all the videos in future whatever I upload.